Hello, dear friends. Today I am visiting the apiary of Vasily Priyatilenko. We are near Kiev, the capital of Ukraine, in 50 kilometers near Kiev. And Vasily Priyatilenko, famous Ukrainian beekeeper and inventor, he was very kind to invite me to apiary in this winter in January 2015 to show how his bees wintering, successfully wintering. And we observed this beehive and some more, and I am pleased to tell you a few words and some sentences about how it's going on now in these beehives, how bees were wintering now. And first of all, I want to tell you about a few words about this interesting frame. Frame was invented, actually, the structure of this frame was modified by Vasily Priyatinenko and why and how and what it was the most important. You can watch our presentation and our PowerPoint presentation. We made presentation in Apislavia Congress in Turkey and in Apimondia Congress in Kyiv. So, but I will tell you a little bit about it. Of course, the first most important part of this frame that this frame not all wooden. The frame has all these bars wooden, bottom bar wooden, but this top bar metallic metallic top bar, very narrow metal top bar and N-framed shape. This is very narrow metal shape. Well, and this structure is very convenient, very useful for beekeeping and for structure of honey bee nest. And how this beehive has a structure? I will show you. This beehive has two stories. One story with narrow frames and one with wide frames. Actually now it's all packed all together and it's winter. So you can see here that that's plastic. We need to cover the, by plastic this beehive to prevent okay, extra heating of beehive. And it's useful for, to keep here not moisture but to keep here the temperature inside. And of course for ventilation we did here this hole and we closed entrance. We just have only one upper entrance here. Down entrance we closed it completely. So only this entrance open and you see covered by plastic. It's very convenient. And what is inside? Here two stories. One this very... <coughs> this is narrow, narrow story with these frames. Okay, these frames, they're here inside. Twelve frames inside here and on the down part here another story with another frames. This the shape of frames. In all these frames they are connected together like this. They are connected. In the down story we have only eight only eight frames here in this position. Eight frames on this position and on the upper story we have 12 frames of this shape. And now it's winter. Of course we need to give some honey for, for bees. So these 12 frames we have honey. Honey is here, you see. It's a good enough honey. 15-12 centimeters with honey. So bees were mostly making here their nest. So we're wintering here, but we are connected with the downside, of course. And this connection is very special, because connection through this metallic part, through this top bar. And here they are connected just directly without bee space. And it's very useful, very convenient, not for beekeeper, but for honeybees, because they are moving from up to down, and this is free movement is very important to make stable, stable nest and to make this integral, integral honeybee nest. So, and I cannot explain you and to show it now because it's connected now and we don't want to open it in winter, but we will show you what's going inside only in the springtime. But all this wall is sitting here. Now 
and they are moving from down to up. And this narrow shape and very tall, very tall frame is very convenient because you see winter pretty cool, pretty cold in Russia, in Ukraine and in some other countries, actually in Canada and America. So bees they are moving from down to up. If you put them like this, this shape, it will not be enough here honey. And sometimes bees can die. We cannot find honey here or there. We do not move. If we put frames like this, it's very convenient. Bees are coming up and they use this, all this honey gradually, gradually. And it's good enough honey here. 12 frames, good enough for all honey honeybees here. Somet of course they move from one side to another side. Sometimes we, it's difficult for them to find where there is a honey. But beekeeper can check it. We can open a roof. We can see on the, on the honeybees. Because here under the roof there is inner cover and also here transparent plastic. We can watch all our honeybee nest through transparent plastic. And this is very convenient. You can watch it on our video, on other uh, our videos. So that's uh, very briefly about this beehive. I will show you again the difference. This type of frames, you see, wide, and this is tall frames. And Vasily Priyatilenko he did this modification. He tested it already during seven years that all these frames were working on these types of beehives effectively, efficiently. And from one beehive usually can, he can receive up to uh, 50 kilos of honey. And the most important that this beehive doesn't need extensive honeybee work. You need to take care about beehive, but much less labor to take care about beehive. Because beehive and is stable. Stable construction of nest and stable construction of all development of this nest. It's difficult to explain in 10 minutes every all the technology. But this is only briefly the explanation. And what is most important, what I need to underline, but in this structure of nest, we efficiently reduce the diseases of bees. Diseases because bees, they take care about the nest, they take care about brood, and this, uh, the number of diseases reduces enormously, enormously. Because Vasily told us that during latest five years he used only few chemical treatments for against varroa, against other diseases. Only few, only one maybe treatment in uh, um, autumn time. No more. And not every year. So the honey is healthy without any chemicals. And infestation by varroa is very low. And it's tested also. So watch our video about these beehives about these frames, about our technology, because we will explain you more how beehives are working, how technology is developing, and of course, thank you very much for Vasily for his permission to show his frames, his technology, and we will be very pleased to explain it for more beekeepers, because this technology is effective, efficient, with good honey collecting for beekeeper and very good, very healthy for honeybees here in Ukraine and we are sure it can be used in your country, in other countries, if you accept this technology. And we can explain you how it's working, we can explain you details of this technology and maybe it will be very useful for your apiary. So contact with us, we can communicate the email, the comments on our YouTube channel and let's meet more on our YouTube channel. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Vasily.
Так, все, ладно.